everyone. Welcome into the video. My name is Tamara and I am the paper and pen girl. Y'all, it's that time of year that we have been waiting for. What time of year are you asking? It's time for the 25 Days of Planner Tips collaboration. Listen, this year we have an amazing lineup of planner friends ready to provide you with some amazing planner tips. This year we're going to be sharing with you on the topic of planner rut, planner funk. Are they the same? Are they different? What do you think? So I want to say a very special thank you to each and every one of our planner friends that said yes to the invitation that was sent out to them. Y'all, some of these planner friends, you already know and you like them. Some are probably going to be new to you as well. And so let us thank them all and welcome them all. I had the pleasure of getting a little sneak peek of some of the tips that are going to be shared and I'm so excited for it. I'm ready for the full video, okay? Because, mmm, your girl, I've been there too. So I'm going to share with you a little bit about how this collaboration is going to work and then share my tips. For the next 25 days, starting today, December 1st, on this channel, day one, video one, we're going to be going to a different channel every single day for a different planner friend to share their experience with you. If you check the description box down below, I will have the channel listed that will be presenting to you on the corresponding day. Now, each channel is going to do their best to post at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on their channel. But please know that channels do have different posting times sometimes because of how their analytics work, how their schedule already is. And so be mindful and aware of that. You may not get the video till the afternoon or the evening for that particular channel, but it will be there, right? Um, so you will go over to each channel every day for 25 days. On the 26th of December, you're going to want to come back over here to this channel so that we can close out this collaboration. You will have a notebook full of notes if you are taking any. Are you a note taker? Let me know in the comment box below. I know for a fact that if you go over our previous 25 days of planner tips videos, you'll have notes from those as well. Each planner friend is going to share with you the person that was before them and the person that's coming up right after them. They're also going to be answering four questions that I have posed and sharing their experiences. So to kick things off, I'm going to jump right in and ask the four questions and share my experience with them. The first question is, planner rut, planner funk, do you think they're the same things? And I actually do not believe that they are the same things. I think that a planner funk has to do with me as a person and the planner rut has to do with my planner or my planning. 
there is a difference between both of those situations and the solution um, to each one is also going to be different. And so I think it's important for us to know that they are different and which one we're currently experiencing. The second question is, have you ever experienced a planner rut or a planner funk before? And I have experienced them both. The third question is asking to share our experience with that. And here it goes. I experienced the planner rut when I began planning back in the beginning when I saw a lot of people in the planner community here on YouTube and on Instagram using a vertical planner. So I thought to myself, that's 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 what I was supposed to be using. And so I purchased a vertical happy planner and I tried to fit my horizontal brain into that vertical happy planner. Needless to say, it did not work out well for either of us, um, really. I went from big vertical to classic vertical and still would not use it for more than about three weeks at a time. And then I would like, nah, we're not doing that. Mm, mm -mm, we're not doing that anymore, right? And that was because I was not a vertical planner. So the planner rut was with that. My planner funk happened usually around this time of year when the new planners are coming out. And during that time, I tend to be looking at all the good, good, all the new, new, and I want all of that stuff. And so I'm looking at my old planners like, why are you still in the current date? Can you not already be outdated and we be able to go into the new, new? And so I don't want to touch them anymore because we are at war. Not because they don't work anymore. Lust of the eyes, y'all. Lust of the eyes. Kick in. And so that's usually when I roll around into a planner. The last question is really just to share um, one thing that we do to either get out of a planner funk or a planner rut or to keep out of it in the first place. And um, I would say one tip that I would share with you is to stop and breathe and think. Stop and breathe and think. You really need to ask yourself a series of questions at that point to make sure you're figuring out, am I in a rut or am I in a funk? And if I am in a planner funk, why? Why am I feeling the way that I'm feeling? Are there external things that's going on that's causing me to have this particular reaction that I'm having to not wanting to use my planner, not wanting to touch my planner? What's happening mentally with me? Um, and I'll give you an example of this. It is now the winter season. It's the colder season in the months. I'm a summer baby. So automatically, right now, I'm not happy. I'm not. I, I, I don't care if it's sweater weather, okay? I need it to be no sweater weather, right? That's what I love. I come alive in the spring. I come alive in the summertime. But now it's winter and I have, I, I've dried up, I've dried up. So basically, I'm not going to be the same emotionally, right? Where I'm all happy and, and, and wanting to touch and use my planners and plan out my beautiful days, time outside in the sun. I can't go outside because it's cold out there, right? And so that, I need to be aware of that it's affecting me, it's affecting my mood, and so I need to take that into, um, in, into account. That has a lot to do with it for me. Some of you um, might suffer from the same 
thing? Let me know in the comment section down below, right? And so with suffering from those things and over the years of being a planner person and, and really uh, taking the time to stop, breathe, and think about these questions, really respond to these questions, I've been able to kind of avoid getting into a planner funk. I now will pick the items to use during the season that brings me the most joy. Save something special, something exquisite that only comes out the last quarter of the year, right? And the first quarter of the year. Make sure those are things that you absolutely adore using. Um, and, and, and I think that might actually help you. If you have any tips on what you would do to help yourself when you're in a planner rut or a planner funk <laughs> this time of year, this season that you don't like, or, oh my gosh, I even hate to say it. If you're not a summer and a spring person, I mean, I don't even know why you wouldn't be. <laughs> if that's not your favorite time of year what do you do right and you find yourself not wanting to use your planner during those seasons what do you do to pick yourself up and out of that those are my responses to those questions tomorrow you're going to head over to plan with Laura for her responses as well be sure to share this collaboration link to the Facebook communities that you are a part of with your YouTube channel, with your Instagram subscribers as well. Y'all, share it everywhere. We want everyone to gain something that might help them from this collaboration. Once again, my name is Tamara. I am the paper and pen girl, and I look forward to seeing you again on the 26th of December to wrap up this amazing collaboration. Be blessed, y'all, and continue to be a blessing. Okay. Now stop shaking. Hurry up and stop shaking. Hurry up and stop shaking so we could get the party started. Oh, take number 365 million. Good Lord. You ready? No, you're still shaking. All right. Um. What's next? I don't know. I forgot. Mm. Mm. I'm going to jump right in and ask the questions and answer mine. No, no.